Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. So I would have got this video done sooner, but I got back yesterday from Orlando at night and I had to work this morning. So I just got back home from work. I got a nice cup of coffee here. So I feel nice and relaxed. The trip was great. I get so excited even weeks before going to the show. That road trip just relaxes me, getting on the road, getting to the nice hotel, relaxing. The night before, I get excited thinking about the show, who's going to be there, what reptiles I'm going to see. So it was really exciting. And it's just good sometimes to take time away from work for these events. So let me tell you guys some more about the event before I reveal what snakes I got. So the last time I was there it was in 2018. No, it was 2019. And it was in a different building, like two buildings over. This building was about the same size. And I really liked the, the layout they had. It was really nice. Now, the only thing I didn't like about the event, they're, they're giving you time slots. So, for instance, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. That's a two-hour time slot. So you're going to buy your ticket for 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Then they close the event for, I think it's a half hour or an hour. They clean, they sanitize, and then they reopen the event for the next time slot for another two hours, say 12 to two. So if you paid for nine to 11, that's the only event you can go to. You go from nine to 11, they're gonna kick you out. Now you can't go back in for the next slot unless you pay again. Whereas in the old days before COVID, you could pay and you could stay the whole day from the time it opens to closes. And if you leave, you could still come back because they usually just stamp your hand with a little stamp. And each day they have like a different color. Now I understand they're trying to do their best to keep things safe and I really appreciate that. That's, that's good that they're looking out for us, but it would be nicer if they would let us back in without having to pay again. Luckily but now the event was great. I was surprised the turnout. It was almost like there was no COVID going on. There was tons of people there. Um, it, the, the line was real long. When you, go, when you went inside, you were rubbing shoulders with people. It was a real good turnout, which is a good thing. It's good that people are coming out to these events. Um, is it the safest? I, don't, I can't say it is, but um, the turnout was really great. But the show was really, really nice. Um, there was a lot of animals, a lot of vendors. Um, the only thing was I didn't see too many boas. I didn't see any anacondas. And there was not one, not even one hognose vendor. That's the first show I've been to that I didn't see a hognose vendor. There was one table that had three tricolor hognoses mixed in with a, a bunch of other colubrids, but that was about it. But if you were looking for ball pythons, crested geckos, leopard geckos, fat tail geckos, man, they had a huge selection. And I'm not particularly a ball python guy. I like ball pythons, but I don't have any. And I've seen some amazing ball pythons that I, I, almost, I almost bought one at the show. And, um, but that's not what I got. I'm going to show you what I got right now. But um, they had some amazing, amazing ball pythons, some really nice types of geckos and a lot of insects and spiders really beautiful stuff it just felt it just felt great to be back out there going to these shows and i'm going to finish this last sip of coffee and i'm going to reveal to you what i got and how i lost the bet with these these two snakes that i bought so my my little cousin wanted a fat tail gecko or a leopard gecko but he couldn't really find them around here so I picked one up for him at the show from Leko My Gecko. They have some amazing geckos. I'm gonna give you a quick peek at which one I got and then I'm gonna show you the snakes. Now look at this little guy. I actually forgot, it might be a female. It's on the deli cup. Either way, probably not looking to breed them, but really beautiful and this is an african fat tail gecko the regular leopard geckos prefer it a little bit drier and these like a little bit more humidity but look at the colors on this one now if you watch my my walkthrough video you'll see i visited leco my gecko and you'll see some amel versions of these they're just beautiful i know my cousin's really really going to be excited when he sees this all right so 
Now let's get to the snakes. All right, guys, so this is the pair of snakes that I got. Maybe you guys could guess from here what it is, but let me give you a close-up look. One of my dream snakes, the Transpeco Rat Snake. Now, this one is the male, and let me show you the female. And these aren't just any Transpeco Rat Snakes. These are Exanthic Transpeco Rat Snakes. And with a little hidden genetics, they're both het albino. So I never seen an albino Transpeco Rat Snake before. And it's just beautiful. I'm gonna show you some pictures. And uh, I got some pictures from the internet that I found. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go outside and show you them in the sunlight. Actually, the sun's starting to go down. But um, these guys are super calm. Take a look at them. Now you see the Xanthic gives it a silver, silvery gray color. And it has nice blue eyes. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but um, I'm sure I'll get to focus on it. So in the wild, you'll find these in Northern Mexico and some parts of Texas, um, South Texas, all the way to New Mexico. That's where these reside. And no problem, you'll find them around four feet. That's the average, but uh, they, they can get a little bit bigger than four feet, so they get a nice size. And this one is Xanthic. Um, they, they're really not common. You don't see them that often. And, and if you do see them, people buy them real quick. Sometimes you'll see them on Morph Market, but they'll only sell maybe a male. And sometimes they'll sell a female, but without the male. So it's hard to get a pair. And another, type that I like, it's it's the blonde phase Transpeco. I don't have any here, and I'm gonna show you a picture what those look like. And if you mix the blonde phase with the Xanthic, you get a blonde phase Xanthic. Those are just beautiful. And I'm gonna show you what those look like. I got a picture, they're not my, they're not my photos. I got them from the internet. Now, now I've been wanting to work with these for a long time. I'm gonna put this girl back in her her um, Deadly Cup. I've been wanting to work with these for a long time. Um, I thought I was gonna find some at um, Daytona, and I think they had one pair, but a breeder, another breeder that was at the show vending, he grabbed it before um, I could even find it. And this was the only pair of Exanthic um, Transpecos at the show. Where I got these from had one more pair, but they weren't Xanthic, they were just the regulars and they weren't head albino. So I really got lucky to find these little gems. So now this is the male. And um, I, got, I got a good deal on these. I'll give you guys a look at the male. He pretty much looks identical to the female. And a trait that is that you'll normally see with these, the patterning, it almost looks like an H. It almost looks like an H. I'm just excited that I finally found my Xanthic Transpeco. And basically what I'm gonna do with these, I'm gonna raise them up, I'm gonna breed them. If I could find another female Xanthic or blonde phase, I'm gonna try and acquire one so I could have two females. And if I could find a pair of blonde phase, I'll buy those. So I'll give you guys one last look at this this mill. Now, you know, we had a long trip from Orlando. They were already in their deli cups prior to that, so I'm not gonna handle them too much. I'm gonna set up their bins now and put them away. All right, so I wanted to come outside, give you guys a better look at these. Now, sometimes when you get snakes, when you just get them, they're a little defensive, but these right here, super calm, super calm. And look at those eyes. They're like a blue, silvery, almost like a metallic. And that's something that really attracted me to this snake besides this beautiful pattern.
Now, now besides the xanthic and the blonde phase, they also have a wild rose phase. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can find a picture of that and I'll show you. Um, there's a couple of phases and you know, I don't know if there's a leucistic transpeco. I would believe it would be all white with blue eyes, but I I'm gonna research that, I'm not sure. But I just wanted to show you guys what I got. I hope you guys, if you were out there, um, you enjoyed yourself. The next show I might be at would probably be Tampa. I'll be at Tampa, I'll be at Daytona again. I'm gonna try to go some, to some of the local shows out here. There's gonna be one in Miami, I believe one in um, Fort Lauderdale. And if there's any others that are in South Florida, I'll try and hit those up. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and be safe and I'll catch you in the next one.